Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office. Belated season's greetings. I do apologise, my output over the last few weeks has been lagging, and uh, I've been a little bit poorly. You can hear I've still got a cold. But, you know, Christmas has come and Christmas has gone, and we've got some presents, we've got some bits and bobs, we've got a lot of chocolates and food to get rid of still. Um, however, I wanted to take the time to show you something I got, which really uh, was quite an excellent present for me came in this little bag, this tiny little bag, and what it is, and it, it's a camera lens clearly, and um, what it does, to take remove these lens caps, it comes with two lens caps and a nice case as you saw, what this lens does, it actually adds, um, you add it onto the front of your lens and it makes your lens a bit wider. So this is a digital high definition super wide angle lens. And it says it's 0.45x super wide with macro Japan optics. I don't know if it's really got any Japanese optics. And it actually consists of two parts. It consists of this main lens assembly. I'm unscrewing now. And it consists of this little lens that goes in between the uh, camera lens and this uh, wide angle lens and serves an adapter. But also this lens on its own can actually be used as a macro lens. So why would you want one of these? Well, if you're filming like I am in the uh, my back office here, I don't have much room between myself and the camera. My camera is using a 14mm uh, lens which gives you uh, the width that you're seeing now. It's, it's at 14mm now. And frankly, it's not enough. I would love to have a 12mm lens or a 12mm prime lens really, but those lenses are several hundred pounds and, you know, I can't afford it. So what can I do to get a little bit more width in my image? And that's to use one of these. So if I just, I'm going to literally try screwing this on the camera right now. Uh, and we'll see what will happen, right? So bear in mind where things are. You know, you can see this is the edge of the window to my, uh, my left. And to the right, you know, you can see where I am in the blind. So just have a look. I'm just going to see if I can hold it up first. Ah, there we go. Before or after. I'm going to try to get my hand out of the shot before or after. Okay? So by adding this lens, I'm going to try to actually screw it on. There we go. Oops. Try not to cross thread the screws as you do so. I'm just going to check the focus and Frankly, I still think I am in focus, so that's great. So yeah, you, know, you can see now, you can see you know, this the entirety of this window uh, up to these uh, tool racks here, and um, far more of the blind, So, and obviously top to bottom as well, you'll see more. I'm a little bit smaller in the picture. So that's great. So I don't know, you know, I, I haven't done the maths. I don't know what this is giving me, if this is giving me the equivalent of a 12 millimeter or it's you know, giving me a equivalent of a 13 or an 11 or what really is going on. Um, but I think for the price, if you look on eBay, they're quite reasonable. I'll uh, put some eBay on the screen and you can see what they're about. I think they're about eight pounds, nine pounds. Um, I would advise if you can find one for your camera system that'll fit and you want that little bit of extra width, it's worth doing. Uh, you can see if you look here, there is some barrel distortion. So what that means is the picture is kind of curving a little bit this way, okay? Um, but I think for a lot of video work like this and sort of blogging and things, that's fine. And um, for still photography, you know, you'll bear that in mind. And you can, I think you can correct that in software, or perhaps you can just use that as a feature in what your um, in your pictures. So it looks kind of neat. So there you go. Um, one quick one. I'm going to try to demonstrate the macro mode. So I'm going to unscrew the outer lens now. And you'll see, ooh, I'm blurry now. I'm very close to the camera. So I'm going to hold up something to the screen. I'm going to adjust the focus now so it's totally in macro mode as far as the camera will go. And then I'm going to move this instruction pamphlet. Okay. So there you go. Um, that's about three centimeters from the lens.
Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the macro lens. You can hear me doing that from the camera. See the lens is going. And now I'm going to try to focus the image. Ooh, there we go. So that is probably about 15 centimeters away from the lens. So look at this. So you can see the whole, if you, if you look at the ratio of the white bit here compared to the whole screen, it looks like you could fit one, two, three, say it's quarter, approximate, right? We'll hold the lens on top. You can see you're well in there, you're well cropped. You're... So, <laughs> now I'm out of focus. Right, so there we go. In conclusion, I would say for the money, you need to get yourself uh, one of these lenses. Oh yeah, and it didn't work just then because I didn't screw it. They, it has to be screwed into that first lens to get the effect. There you go. There. Thanks for watching.